What's up guys and welcome back, we're here with another historical battle for you and today is the Battle of the Milvian Bridge in 312 AD between Maxentius, uh, the Emperor Maxentius and the Emperor Constantine. It is a Roman civil war uh, taking place in Italy uh, just outside Rome. Maxentius has marched out to meet Constantine and in history Constantine does go on to win this battle killing Maxentius. Um, and decapitating his head and uh, showing it off through Rome. Um, so uh, we'll see whether that is the same uh, scenario, whether um, Max Teus loses again or this time will he hold. So there is the Milvian Bridge itself. The original one over there broken by Max Teus to stop any uh, advance by Constantine but then um, decides that, well, uh, another one is built and this is the, also the battle where Constantine decides uh, that he's going to put the Chiro on his shields and he's going to start worshipping Jesus. So like there, for instance. There you go, there's the Chiro. And he's worshipping Jesus. And this guy, you know, you can see him. He's he's very happy to be supporting Jesus. Very happy. But anyway, we'll get on with the battle and uh, we will see what happens. So, I mean, there is just a lot of shouting going on at the moment. I mean, at the moment there's a... The first men going in will be some Western Auxilia Palatina. Then in the second line we have Cohors, uh, Legio in the third line, and then we have in reserve some Legio Comitiensis. So there's some more elite swords, and we also have some uh, Herculani Signores. And the archers I have let loose. And we also have some uh, cavalry, some just like some Magister Mil Militum. Uh, Equites prom promoti, and that's about it. I mean, I, these units, they're very similar. I mean, it's two Western Roman empires. There's a lot of spears for both sides. So, I just love the uh, shield formations that these guys do. Looks really cool. I mean, I feel like this is still a, a massive problem here. You probably want to put your shields, like, almost at like, an angle. But here we go. In come the infantry. Western Auxilia. Palatina. That Constantine's units are slightly more experienced because they are a frontier army. He was hailed emperor in York, which is uh, very near where I'm from. Uh, and uh, yes, he then mo mo marches on Rome. So he's got a very elite veteran army that served a long time in England. So uh, no wonder he would uh, have a better army. But Maxentius does have the numbers. So will his numbers be able to overwhelm uh, Constantine? We'll, we'll find out. I mean, it looks like there's already some flanking going on here with these cohorts. I'm not really sure what's going on here. But I mean, it's cohorts against Western Palatina. Spears versus swords. They will have a little bit of a problem there, I imagine. There's a huge flank going on by Max and Teus here. Some Legio. Three units of Legio. And I think some cavalry. Yeah, some Equites Dalmate coming up on a flank. And... Uh, is there any response from... No, there is no response currently from Constantine for that attack. While that's going on, the fight is uh, getting pretty bloody over here. I mean, it looks like the cohorts ha from uh, Constantine have also joined the fight. So now these men are very much overwhelmed. I just love how some of them don't even have helmets. Like, they're going to risk their lives. They're going to risk their lives. Um, we also now have, oh there we go, cavalry going across to the left flank, so they must be getting ready to fight them. These Herculani Signoris, not actually doing anything, my most elite, Constantine's most elite units. Um, but I mean, they're just going to stand here and they're going to occupy these two units, that not allow them to fight elsewhere. And that is the aim, that is the aim. But anyway, it looks like there's now a fight going on on the flank, the uh, Legio Comensiensis fighting the Legio. Um, the Legio Commons Tensors should win this as the uh, battle goes on, just because they have the better units. But uh, we'll, we will see. Hard to tell who's who, but uh, that's the. I mean, they would have also struggled in the battle, I guess, to tell who's who. It's certainly easier with something like the, the uh, Palatina Auxilia, wherever they are because they have very distinct shields. Also some protectories, some very uh, low tier units. But they'll hold the line for a little bit. One can hope. 
certainly if you're rooting for Max and Teus to uh, change the battle and history. The thing is, is oh, that's a good kill though by that cohort. As soon as these uh, units go further and further on, and they fight more and more Max and Teus, is uh, like lines, the harder it's going to get because these units are going to get tired. So really is going to rely on a lot of uh, resting of troops and uh, well just cycling troops going in so they all get a bit of a rest like now look for this unit here Legio getting a rest I mean they probably should be going in actually no they're fighting some common tensors spears they probably will be okay yeah Legio common tensors fighting common tensors spears they'll be fine um, looks like more Legio Comantiens is struggling over here. And the cavalry is now involved as well. My General Constantine is uh, is in a fight. And uh, yeah, he looks like he's just about wrapped this up. These cavalry aren't, as, aren't quite as good as the uh, cavalry that we're against. But, um, I mean, they did a nice little sneaky attack. I didn't actually see this coming. I like had them all ready up, set up, like ready to repel. But then he got the first charge off. Oh, good kill there! It's so whether Constantine just dies accidentally in this battle. This could change the fortune of this battle. But in we go. Some more, some more uh, cavalry getting ready to go in. I presume. Oh, these guys go. I know they're not going to go. They're just going to stand here and throw invisible javies. <laughs> yep, those invisible javelins are gone. Um, anyway, what's how's the front line looking? Okay, the front line is not looking good. It looks like Max and Teus has started to pull back stuff, and this is how he's going to make his stand. It would seem. Will there be a hold up from? Uh, it doesn't look like there's even going to be a hold up from uh, Constantine. And these poor, uh, these poor cohorts are having to deal with another fight, another wave of auxilia. These poor auxilia will be knackered as well. But still, they fight on. Brave, brave men. It looks like it's already pulling back as well. Already pulling these guys back, not allowing them to. Uh, Catch these elite units. Up. Catch those elite units out. I mean, that's they've been massive. I mean, there's some more elite units here. Um, these are going to be like the sort of last stand. Elite Palatina, and then we've got the Palatina Guard here, which are representing the Praetorian Guard of Maxentius, who make a heroic stand in their history. And basically, uh, well, they're the one of the final units standing, and uh, they say they'll fight to the death, even after their emperor's dead. Um, but Constantine shows them mercy, mainly because of their heroics. But here we go, the final push, we're going onto the bridge now. And then we have the, uh, a push just over the far side onto the far bank to get Max and Teus himself. It's already looking pretty good. I mean, we are still struggling over here in the forest though. These Legio are, uh, fighting off some, uh, Comisienza Spears. And we are actually losing some units, some Legio are breaking. This is not good. These guys are getting overwhelmed. By more Legio and, uh, well, and we've got cavalry in here as well, but I'm not sure why the cavalry's, what the cavalry's doing. And it's probably not actually doing much help. But look at this chaos. Just look at the chaos. Unless you are a, a computer generated soldier who knows who your enemy is. Then uh, you would not have a clue. There we go. Our, our Legio lost. Uh, and now we uh, have to get some more units to come over here and deal with this problem. What do we have in here? We have some more Legio and some... And our general, this is pretty worrying. Constantine's just fighting it out in here. Hopefully he can uh, get a few kills. That'd be pretty good. What's How's the front line going? Still holding these Comitiensis spears. That is very impressive. Look at the amount, of, the sheer amount of men, like, involved in this. Ridiculous. 
But we are getting a bit of a flank on now with these uh, Herculani Signoris. And they are starting to get around the sides and these commentators spears won't hold for long. They're one of the lowest tier spear units. But uh, yes, we've got to see what... Hopefully they'll hold. Sending in archers now. They've run out of ammo. They're going in. Look at all these hordes of men. They're like, ah, go in. I don't know how to fight. And we're getting some... Uh, we've got some reserves now coming from the forest. That are no longer needed. And I think we've won. I think we, this is the final unit over here. A, four, a unit of 40. Comtienza Spears. And they're going to just go in and get massacred. They're not even looking the right way. That's how... That's what they have to offer. And they're just getting cut down. I don't know if there's this many woods in the actual Battle of Milvian, but for some reason there's a load of woods. We don't question it. And there we go. The, fi the final battle is over there. Now we are back to the stand here. Apparently the tide of battle turns in our favour, according to that man. But we'll see. Ooh. Good I don't know how you decapitate someone with a spear, but uh, very impressive. Won't be long till these guys fall. And then we've got a second line of defense getting ready. A small unit of cohorts that's managed to survive the onslaught. Then look at this defense that we've got to deal with later. And I mean, I'm not quite sure how these men are standing here, but they are. Um, <laughs> I don't know what's quite going on there. You can't even see them now. They're hidden. But um, yes, this is going to be some... This can... Alright, keep it down with your with your uh, foul language, but I mean, yes, they are fighting back. But I mean, yeah, we have a Elite Palatina, so I forgot what these units even are called. Uh, Connuti Signoris, oh, cool name. But I mean, yeah, this is, uh, this is going to be pretty tough to break through. And it's what's going to be needed to do to kill Max and Teus off. But these Comantiensis are now wavering, and there they go, just as I say that, and everyone cheers, and yes, you can cheer. Because you're one step closer, now you can get across this goddamn bridge. But they are holding, they've, they've rallied and they're going to do the same as their counterparts in the forest. They're going to face the other way. Turn around, fools! You must turn around. Yes, you're cheering, but I mean, you're facing the wrong way and these Herculani Signoris are going to just like cut you down. But I mean, these elite swords, they'll overwhelm this already wavering unit. Don't know how long these guys can really hold. Yeah, and there we go. Dead. Cut down as they run. And the, le the last few get to get away. Tell, tell everyone else what happened here. But I mean, this is the next stand. It's um, it's in a shield wall. I mean, it's not a great unit. These Herculani uh, swords are also very, very uh, tired. So tired. And these boys are just gonna stand here for a moment, and they're throwing some jabbies. But I don't even think we took a casualty to them throwing all those jabbies. So that's okay. I mean, they look like just like Pillum. I mean, which they weren't using Pillum at this point. But there we go. Both sides forming shield wall, preparing for the final assault, and in we go. And the second unit is going in, and just like that, those cohorts broke. They were not wanting to fight, and they're getting cut down.
Wow, lots of Javis coming in here. Actually killing some more of their own men by the looks of it. I mean, they are knocking a few uh, Herculani down, but I mean... And they don't stop. They're going straight in to these Cornuti Spears. Cutting these men down. And this is what's left of the, the Milvian Bridge. Not much. I mean, I think they... Don't even think they actually killed a single guy on the... Oh, no, they got this guy. This is the only casualty, I think, for... Uh, Constantine on the bridge. That is insane. Most of these men just uh, getting cut down as they run. But here we go. A horde of men coming across now. It's going to be archers um, and some Western Palatina and some cohorts. Which is basically the scraps of uh, fighting the previous uh, like battle on the far bank. And here we go. In they go. And it's going to be a big old slog now to get across this uh, across this bridge and look at these guys throwing at point blank range cheek of it, the actual cheek of it let these boys fight out fair and square, oh there you go poor guy that got hit by a projectile These spears will hold for a long time. I'm not really sure what they're doing with their shields, but they're waving them around. We've actually nearly pushed through. I'm not... Like, this looks pretty detrimental. I can see Her... Yeah, like, look, Herculani guys peeling around. It's pretty major. The spear units, it's faring okay. It's also about a third of its men. And in we go, there go the spears. Swords, uh, not the spears. In goes swords, sorry. Um, Elite Palatina now being sent in. They'll cut off quite a lot of those men that uh, just basically just overcommit themselves. And yet, yeah, lots of beheadings I can see going on in there. I mean, you can see the chaos. You just have to look, recognize the shields. The white shields basically is what left of Maxentinian. Everything else is uh, Constantine. I mean, unless you're looking at these guys. I mean, but these guys are some pretty distinct shields, so. Yeah. But yeah, it's looking pretty made, pretty bad. I mean, they've got one unit of spears left. They've sent in everything else. I presume this is friendly fire. They killed some of their own, sp their own swords. Some units getting ready. Fresh Glegio getting ready to go in. Not quite sure how your head's looking through that guy's shield, but okay. Back in here. I mean, it looks like they pushed Constantine's forces back. In some areas, I mean, but then there are like areas like here that like, are well, still very much deep in enemy lines. It's just become a bit of a mosh pit. And uh, it's every man for himself. Nice little fight going off, off down here as well by the riverbank. Herculani Signori is fighting the elite Palatina. Two elite units. Oof, nice behead in there. Some poor man has been just had his head chopped off. And he's just killed someone else. And the cohorts are breaking. Cowards! Cowards. But it looks like they cleared out all the elite Palatina in this little area here. Very nice. Now they uh, Herculani can move on, try and regroup with their army. In go more cohorts and more Legio. Wow. I mean, what are the numbers currently? About 1,500 uh, to 500. So in fairness, they can afford, Constantine can afford to do this about three times. Three big assaults. He can afford to lose double what the... Uh, uh, Max Antinius forces can afford to lose. But, I mean, how much were they outnumbered by originally? About 500. It was the uh, original forces was between somewhere between 20,000 for Constantine and about 20 to 25,000 for Max Antinius. So there was a very slight advantage, which I think we've fairly got balanced here. I mean, this is 
now definitely the bloody fighting that happened definitely in uh, history. This has certainly been represented now. Good God. Hopefully that Chiro is going to help him out. Help Constantine out. It's emblazoned all over his men's shields. I mean, it's also emblazoned mostly over most of Max and Teus shields as well. Because there's a lack of units that we can use. More archers fleeing. Cowards. Just because you ran out of ammo. Would have been very handy to have some ammunition right now. Just to cause some havoc in the back. I mean the Praetorian Guard. Is, I'm going to call them now. I mean they look very elite. I mean they don't. They actually don't have any like armor on. They just have chair mail. But I mean. So maybe they're not as good as. The elite Palatina. I'm not sure. But they still look pretty damn good. Not going to lie. I mean, it looks like they, looking at the shields, like the way the white shields are, it would seem that uh, Max and Teus has pushed back Constantine's forces massively. I mean, let's have just look at the hood. Oh my gosh, yes, a lot of, lot of wavering. I mean, the original unit that was in there is pretty beaten up. I mean, some of these elite Palatina. Yeah, they're not doing too good. But another huge wave. Wow, look at this. Look at all these boys coming in. Fresh units. Ready to get committed to the battle. Legio, Cohors. Some more Western uh, Palatina, Auxilia. And the, and the stragglers. What are you doing? Get in line. Especially you. There's a flogging for you if you don't die. But what's left, really? Um, looks like some more Legio. Two units, three, four, uh, three units Legio. Make that, oh no, that's Legio Comitiensis, which look almost the same, to be honest. I mean, they've got some of them have cool fluffy helmets. Some Western Auxilia Palatina, some cavalry, some more cavalry over there, and the general, wherever he is. Where is the general? Oh, he's there. And some archers, which are sort of rallying, but hey, they're, they're not really doing anything. Some more Western Auxilia going in. Really trying to force that uh, choke point open now. I mean, those Herculani swords are still in there, which is just short of a miracle. Are they wavering? No, they're not. Wow. Herculani Signores on like 36. The other one on like 27. Wow, yeah, these guys are like... They're going to fight to the end. They're going to be like... They're Constantine's Praetorian Guard, really. Fight to the death. No less. Men are and running for their lives. But more men are breaking, more cohorts. Why are you cheering? It's our men that are breaking. You fools. Oh, actually, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Who is this? Oh, it's the Core 90. Cornuti Signori, they finally broken that first unit. 13 men. So that they're at 106. We've got so many more to kill. So many more to kill. And I'm running out of elite units. I send in the Herculani Signoris first. Our last really elite unit is the Legio Comestiensis, which is already here. Legio, I mean these these guys are okay, but they're not great. And we've got cavalry as well. We've got a lot of cavalry left. Which hasn't really been able to be used properly. Because the field battle over there died off so quickly. But here we go. Looks like one last push. In goes the uh, Elite Palatina again. Had a little bit of a rest. But we are we're making a little bit of headway. Like 
If you follow my cursor, this is now uh, the line of Constantine. Can we actually put up? Can we put up some colours? No, I don't think so. But yeah, you can see the line of Constantine's forces now, and the line of Max and Teus. It's becoming a bit of a crescent. Is his men? And who's this? Oh no, the Herculani Senoris is starting to break. I mean, a lot of these units are actually, yeah, and then they go, they've just broken. They've just broken. My so-called Praetorian Guard, they've had enough at 23. 23 men left. I mean, they have fought well. They may have fought even better if I'd let them rest on this road, on this uh, road, on this bridge for a bit. But we'll see. I mean, we're just going to hope that we can kill, uh... Yeah, wow, this is some huge breaking, huge breaking. So many men fleeing. That is not good for the cause. A lot of ground is going to be lost now, all because of that. We can barely see the bodies down there. I mean, because of all these reeds up for some reason here. But you can sort of see there's going to be a pile of dead bodies here. Yes, it's not good. Max and Teus now actually looks like he may win this. That one unit... Even though it's broken, that one unit, they've still got three more, no, four more of these elite units to get through. And it's cost us so many men. We're already down to, we've lost about 400 men, and they've lost about nearly, well, about 100, 150. If we keep going at this rate, we will definitely break. So we've got to try something. We've got some cavalry ready. What's Constantine going to try with his cavalry? I mean, he's sending back in the... Uh, sending back in the cohorts, and in goes the... Uh, yeah, we've run into our own men. That's never a good idea, to be honest. That's routing them already. A stupid move, really, but uh, hey. Just got to get these guys on the front line, try and cause some damage. We're forcing them through. We're trying to. But I mean, lost them dying. And yeah, we've got those cavalry through. How many of them will actually survive is unknown. It's not looking good. 21, and they're breaking. The ta Constantine's tactic to uh, get some cavalry through and into the back lines has failed. Oh. Well, we'll see. They're wavering. I mean, lots more wavering here by Western Palatine. These men are so tired. These comments the ends need to be sent in. I mean, all this stuff needs to be sent in. This is very well rested now. Here it goes. Yeah, these cohorts are properly gone. And the cavalry coming in for a charge. I just saw that on my corner of my eye. I've sort of got that. Um, I don't know if they'll get another charge off. But they've certainly done some damage in the back lines. And... Will they get another charge? Wavering again. Come on. Come on. One more charge. I'm broken. Not good. Not good. It's gonna. It's literally going to come down to uh, whoever breaks first, I think, at this point. Will it be these infantry here of Constantine's or will it be Max and Teus' guards? I don't know really, it could be either. There's still a few projectiles being thrown as well. There we go, more being thrown off there. Don't know what, quite why he's throwing one over here, but hey. But anyway, Constantine really doesn't want to have to try that tactic again of a uh, forcing cab through. Never going to end well by the sounds of it. Certainly don't send the general unit through, that will be GG. What are the numbers now? 600 to about 300. The, it's back down to like, instead of being three times the difference, it's now down to two times the difference. These guys did an extremely good job. They've cut the odds dramatically. And more leg yoga in. Just to try and force this break. 
I mean, the sheer number of bodies in here is surely going to start to force forward the line. Look at these boys. Fighting it off in here. Come on, boys. You can do it. You can force through. Oh, more breaking. Not what we want. Some cohorts. Breaking at the last minute. The last few uh, Palatina Auxilia in there. It's ridiculous. These men have fought so long. And the Legio Commons is now probably like the ones forcing the line forward. It's such a huge blob. If there's any, anyone had any archers right now, that would be... What a time to use them now. But I mean, like, look at these guys. All so bloodied up. And there we go. A huge break. Looks like... Wow. The two uh, elite Palatina are breaking. The Cornuti, Cornuti son, Signori is breaking. Palatina Guard's breaking. They are on brace. Trying to hold the line. But there, yeah, they're rallying going back in. But, I mean, they're not going to be the same. There's a huge win there for Constantine. That these units are breaking. They're so tired, they will be. They've been fighting so many waves of uh, Constantine's horde. And those extra few chevrons that... Uh, Constantine's army have are going to start to pull off now. Another break, this time by the Cornuti Spears. And the general's breaking. Axentaeus is calling it a day. That will surely be it. And there we go. Constantine mobilizes his cavalry. It's now just time to force it through. And there we go. A Pyrrhic victory. Wow. What a victory for Constantine. He has won again, just as in history, but with a lot of a lot of uh, loss of life. Yes, losing 2,019 men out of his 2,940 men mobilized. Um, insane. Insane. One of those elite Palatina getting 408 kills. Another one getting 322. That is insane. Um, those Cornuti Spears not doing too bad themselves. Getting 116 kills and 88. Uh, nothing else. Oh, actually, the Legio Comestiensis for them, uh, getting 127 kills, that's kind of the only other standout unit. And 104 for that uh, Cometiensis Spears unit, that's probably the one that was defending the bridge. And the general getting 52, not too bad either. Constantine's forces, um, well, he's actually, the Spears did very well, all getting over 100 kills. They are actually very good Spears, and Chevron up a little bit, they're pretty nasty. I do like these uh, Western Auxilia Palatina. Um, I think they look just very nice to start with, and also they are pretty damn effective. And um, we also have uh, some pretty good kills for the cohorts. A lot better than uh, Max and Teus's cohorts, but they are slightly chevroned up, so that is expected. Uh, 128 kills. Actually, 131 is the best. And then Legio, 160 is the best. Two of them getting 100, 160. Um, Herculani Senores, I thought it did a lot better than they actually did. Only getting 157 kills at the top one. And uh, Legio Commerciens is getting 202. One of the cav units getting 110. It's not bad either. But I mean, yes, a pretty damn damning loss for Max and Teus, uh losing, well, about all but about 400 of his men. So while uh, Constantine has about 900 of his men left. Actually, no, it says there 600 remaining. What am I on about? I can't do math. 604 remaining and about 921 remaining for uh, Constantine, who will go on march to Rome and claim the Empership of the West before he marches east to become sole emperor and destroy the Tetrarchy. But anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed and want to see more historical battles um, or just more Attila, um, please do leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.